Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you're doing well. Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. Hey, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. And if uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider being one. And we hope you'll uh, hit the thumbs up on this as well. That thumbs up button really helps us a lot. Budget videos. There are a million budget videos. And we've even done and touched on budget videos in the past. But I thought it was time for an update because I recently have seen some new budget videos. And they've taken into account some other factors. And in the past, some of the uh, thoughts that we've had about budgets with respect to what you budget have uh, been different. So let me say this, budget videos pretty much still remain the same as far as we're concerned. And what I mean by that is get up off your duff, come to the Philippines and take a look at what you get for what you want to and can afford to spend. Isn't that the way you decide? You don't tell somebody um, this is the maximum amount of money I'm going to spend on XYZ. And, and they say, okay. That doesn't really work when it comes to living on a budget. You see, every person is individual. Now, our recommendation is still very, very simple because there are some basics. Should you have money in the bank for an emergency fund? We firmly believe that you should, but it's up to you. Okay? There are people here that don't. I mean, when it comes to a budget and it comes to retiring in the Philippines, when it comes to moving to the Philippines, when it comes to living in the Philippines, it's probably very similar to the basics of doing that anywhere. Are you going to have an emergency fund for health care? There are different rules of thoughts on that. There are some people who feel like, nah, uh-uh. If I need to, I'll go home. There are some people that say, I'm young enough, I'm healthy enough, uh, I don't need that. I'll pay as I go. There are some people who say, I can't afford to even consider some kind of insurance there. So I'll take my chances. So risk is one of those factors that you have to evaluate. Can you live in the Philippines at the beach, in the city, in the jungle? Well, yeah, you can. So if you take the risk factor out, because that's a personal adjustment, then you have to decide, I can afford to spend X, Y, Z. Let me see what I can get. That's what you need to do. Asking what can I get, that helps. People will give you information about that. But that doesn't mean that that's going to be what it is when you get here. That doesn't mean that that's going to be available when you get here. That doesn't mean that that's what the price is going to remain. And that doesn't mean it's going to meet your personal standards. Okay? Can you live on $1,000 a month? Well, yes, you can. There are people here that do. How do they do it? Well, they live a very simple life humble, and slightly restrictive life. Not restrictive in a negative manner, but they have to learn to live within their means. Okay? So if you get off your ass and come to the Philippines and take a look, all right, spend some time. Our recommendation is at least spend a week in two to three different locations. 
your top three choices. Figure out what it is. Okay? There's a lot of reasons to live in different places. And those are individual. Nobody can say, yeah, you can do this and yeah, you can do that. Figure out, you know, can you survive um, on a limited amount of air conditioning or no air conditioning at all? If you don't mind it being hot during the day and you can live under a fan at night, well, yeah. You see, there are those people who don't. We're a prime example of that. But that doesn't mean that the Philippines is going to be that way for you. Can you live in a studio apartment or a very small, humble, older home? That's what you have to decide. You have to come here and you have to take a look at it. For some of these things, we can't do. Only because... I have the financial means to do otherwise. So I choose to enhance my life. Does that mean that it'd be worth it if I couldn't do that to stay here? I can't give you an answer to that. I really and truly could not. You know, it's not like living in, say, um, America where you can move to the Northeast, where it's only hot, miserably hot, um, say, six weeks out of the year, okay? And the worst you have to do is bundle up for five months out of the year. That would be a choice. Some people already do that. And here, it's the opposite. Winter here, all right, or it, December, January, February, sometimes even November, are very comfortable. And if depending on where you live, could even be cool. So you've got to decide on that. It's something that suits your personal needs. Don't listen to all these other people saying you can live in the Philippines for a thousand dollars a month. Well, you can, but you have to make living there something you're willing to do. That's the way it's not that you can't, you know, they're, they're speaking the truth. You can, as long as you're willing to live under those types of conditions, no different than in the U S at all. Okay? Now, granted, you know, your limitations in the U.S. are somewhat significant based on the price of living there. Um, can you live without Medicaid or free care because you qualify for it in the U.S.? You don't qualify it for, for it here. You have to make that decision. Look, we can tell you there are people we know that do not carry insurance. We can tell you that there are older people we know who are not in good health that don't carry medical insurance, but they have savings enough to take care of what needs to be taken care of on a month-by-month -month basis, and so far, they've done quite well. Having an emergency fund to get home, that's a different story. I think that everybody needs to have that, but... Living in certain places dictates your conditions. Pricing dictates your conditions. All right? There are nice places that can be had for $250 to $350 a month. And if you can live in those places, if you can live in a Filipino neighborhood, if you can live in a different environment that's not a Western style of living, then you are way ahead of the game in considering that. If you have the financial means, great. By all means, 
exercise the right that you've worked for all your life to spend the money to have the retirement that you want. Certainly nobody should behoove you that. Should you be frugal with it? Oh, it depends. I mean, frugal is, is also another very wide open mo uh, word. All right. Do, should you spend more than you need to survive? Depends on how much money you have. That's what's important. What's important is what makes you happy. The budget is what makes you or buys you happiness. You see, the whole idea behind coming here, the whole idea behind moving to the Philippines is to be happy. It doesn't matter whether be happy means I want to be away from people. I don't want to be in the city. I can live in a very rural situation. I can cook my own meals. If that's what makes you happy, you're all in. Okay? As long as you're willing to take that medical risk. Being happy is different for every single person. And that's what this is really all about. The budget that you choose, don't choose a budget. Come here. Get off your ass. Don't mess around. Come and look. That's the best thing to do. Come here with plans, full plans, to go home and prepare. Because once you come here, you can decide, hey, I can live there. I can live like that. And this is what it's going to cost. So I'm going to prepare for that. Or you're going to come here and you're going to say, you know, in order for me to be happy, I can't do it. The cost of living is still too much to give up the social uh, safety net that my own country has. So you've got to make that choice. You've got to make that decision. Okay? We can go and visit properties and look at properties and the price of red onions or the price of beef and the price of this and the price of that and where is it expensive. But it's different from place to place and it's different from what you use and you're different from what you need. Okay? That's what's really important. Don't listen to people who, or let me rephrase that. You can listen to everybody. Okay, to get ideas of the places you might want to come check out. That's good. That's great. Then come here. Don't say, this is what I've decided. I'm going to go ahead and make that move. Come here, decide. Come here and look at it. You want to live at the beach? Come here. Go to a couple different beach towns and live and see what it's like. Stay a week. Check out real estate prices. Check out rentals. Check out condos. Check out what it costs. Take a look at what's there available to make you eat, to let you eat and what you like. Check it all out. All right? Figure out, do I need to be near immigration or is it okay that I take a day or two of travel and look at it as a mini vacation to go renew my visas? Do I have to be near a huge hospital? Plenty of people here are not. Okay? That's risk. You have to evaluate the risk that you're going to have to take, and you have to evaluate what it's worth. Then you have to evaluate where can you go and what can I afford. Can I live in a, a place where... There's electricity only uh, 16 hours a day. Or like my wife's town where city water only is available um, four to six hours a day. 
These are things you have to take a look at. And these are things that you have to evaluate. Be cautious of these videos. Be cautious of the people that tell you you can do this. Only you know what you can do. Can you purchase, rent, live for XYZ dollars? You can purchase, rent for XYZ dollars. Can you live? I consider living to be part of being happy. So you have to do, decide that. More than anything, the bottom line, you need to be happy. You need to be happy. I can't say it more than enough. I, I just can't see it. Say it any other way. Evaluate it. Come and spend some time. Find out. Pandemic is over. Travel restrictions are so minimal. It's so easy to get here. It's wide open. The hotels are booking. The beaches are full. There's life and existence everywhere. The restaurants are open. The malls are open. Get your butt here. Find out what it is you like and then decide. You can't do it any other way. Well, I guess you could, but it certainly wouldn't be any fun. Hey, thanks. We really appreciate it, and we'd love to hear your comments. Don't hesitate. Finally, please subscribe. We really would like to see our subscription numbers go up, and we would really love to see a thumbs up and hopefully see our viewership go up. Otherwise, we hope you'll be here soon. Take care.